comes into my head um, on sort of what sort of song I'd like to jam. So I'll pick my guitar up, um, generally play around. I've got an idea of what sort of tempo a song I want to do. And also a lot of it depends on what mood you're in as well. So that, that's the process. And, and when something clicks, I quickly record it, then put something else over the top. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Then when I get to nearly a song completed stage i record it very loosely give it to james to let him have a listen see what he thinks and he thinks yeah that sounds good then we introduce it to the band uh, at a band practice night then adam rob gary all add their bits and say oh how about we do add this to there we try it some things work some things don't um and then that, that's how it works for me personally i mean adam does it slightly different he'll tell you now well, I, I do approach uh, the creative process differently uh, from Stuart. Um, I quite often, I mean, I've always got a guitar kind of uh, to hand um, where I live. Um, and a lot of time, um, a song or an idea comes from, uh, from a sound for me. So I fiddle about with, uh, be it my effects or uh, the amplifier. And I, I get a certain sound, a certain tone, a certain, a certain noise. And I tend to find that a song will, it will come from that. Um, I'm a lot more kind of, lo-fi than Stuart I don't kind of go onto a multi-track um, to do a demo I tend to do kind of more of a uh, more of a loose kind of playthrough of the song and and I tend to kind of I tend to record a lot and throw a lot away um, and, and then I'll find kind of as I listen back over the following days that there's bits that stick and bits which don't and it kind of it all comes from that and uh, I do like to kind of bounce ideas backs and forwards uh, between Stuart and some other friends and and sometimes uh, you know just a, a a different input kind of changes changes kind of the attitude of the song and and and, and normally for the better. Um, quite often you'll create something, and when you hand it over to the band, it, it becomes a different monster, um, which can be sometimes it can be quite disconcerting that you've created something and you have it in your mind that it's just, it goes a certain way, uh, uh, and when it's kind of let out there, and other people kind of get hold of it. it, it Sometimes you have to kind of stand back and, and, and let it happen because normally the end process is kind of something you couldn't envisage in your own head, but normally it's it's for the better. Yeah, for me, uh, I mean, obviously I get um, the the very basic sort of guitar recording, um, usually from, from Stuart, um, and I get that on my memory stick, um, put it in my car, um, and just just play it and play it and play it to myself um, just to get it in my head. Um, so it's continuously there, um, play it to death almost. Um, and then as I'm driving down the road in my car, I'm, I'm, I'm just singing along to it. Um, I've already got sort of topics in my head, which which I kind of think I'm, I want to base the song around. Um, and then I'm just singing lyrics along to the, to the guitar work. can be anything at that point just to get a melody that, that kind of works with what Stuart's written or Adam. Um, and then once I've got something that I'm happy with, then I'll start, I'll start working on the lyrics to get something that, that, that's sort of, that's meaningful. Um, and yeah, that's usually how it works. Um, some, and then, uh, you know, sometimes if you, if you, if I'm sort of singing along and I'm just, nothing's coming, I'll just, I'll just leave it for a, for a while and then maybe revisit it at a later date but um yeah you can get writer's block i mean you know you get us before we we started the band up again in 2010 i was still used to you know jam around to myself and that and i couldn't come up with anything i liked for for, for a year and i think it needed the band to be 
brought back together to give me sort of the inspiration to you know come up with some good ideas it's weird but i think a lot of musicians will tell you that if you're not in the right sort of mood or frame of mind you you know you do it i mean we're quite lucky and we haven't got to rush um songs out there. i mean some bands they, they they after they've done their first album the pressure's on for them to to get, get back on it and i'm sure you know some songs wouldn't actually make the second album if they could go back and change it but we're quite lucky there so we do uh, we've had a couple of kind of uh when we've had kind of 80 percent songs um and we've had we've had the basic structures and everything else and there's been a certain section where we need something we know we need something but neither of us know what it is quite often Stuart and i will kind of take the song away and kind of meet back a week later a fortnight later with what we've got and kind of almost like a we have a guitar off on the uh, on the part and uh, I mostly win <laughs> there won't be no show tonight. There won't be no show tonight. 